Hi, I'm Sam. I'm the Bonfine Beagle. Welcome to my show. Back in the day, I made my living as a hunting dog. I was one of Melton's top boys, but then disaster happened. They banned hunting with dogs. I resorted to a life of crime, but I was caught and I was banged up in Battersea. After several failed escape attempts, I was rehomed with Austrian cab driver Carl Fleischhacker. Since then, we've been mates for life. We both share a passion for vintage vehicles, whether it's cars, bikes, battery chargers even. We'll turn our paws to anything. Anything that keeps us out of the pub. If you've got a motor that needs to turn around, call the Barn Fine Beagle. I've just had an email from a lady down in Croydon. She thinks she's got a Triumph Tiger Cup in bits. Go straight through town, Carly. Don't bother with the M25, alright? Is your problem in your, on the Rob Rife Tunnel? No, the hell? It's a proper tourist route, yes, you know. Go on, Carly. Give it the Nice drive, Carly. Let's hope that our trip down our rainy Croydon's been worth it. It's time to take a look. This ain't a Tiger Cup. It reeks a two-stroke fuel. Let's get the cover off. This is a really early BSA Bantam. It's got a fishtail exhaust a lot. I love it. Paintwork doesn't smell too bad. Oh, this exhaust is a little bit nasty though. Headlamps all there, switch seems to be there. Uh, tyres seem okay. Oh, these, uh, these fork gators are shot, they need to be replaced. Toolbox and carburetor, they're all together. We'll have to find a new tank and respray the whole thing to keep it the same colour. Carly took the machine back to the workshop to give it a once over. Now I've got to talk to the owner and talk some numbers. Hello Mrs Phillips, it's Sam the Barvine Beagle. It turns out there is a Bantam and not a Tiger Cub after all. We can offer you 650 notes for it. The bike needs a new tank, a new saddle, there's other few bits and pieces so there's a fair bit of work there to be done. OK Mrs Phillips, I'll wire the money to you this afternoon. Now it's time to get busy on the net looking for bits for our cheeky little beezer. After a shower and a good night's kip, I got right back on the parts hunt. Then all hell broke loose. Oh fantastic, the tank's come. Where is it? Let me see it, let me see it. This ain't bad for a second hand tank. It's just what we need to give this bike a bit of a lift. The BSA Bantam made its first appearance at the London Motor Show in 1948 and became a success overnight. Most people in the 50s and 60s seem to learn to ride on these cheeky little two strokes. I mean to say, even Tintin had a Bantam. But it was, strictly speaking, it wasn't really a British design. It was based on the German DKW RT125. Initially the design was offered to Villiers, but they turned them down. But BSA took, changed everything to the other side and a legend was born. Even Yamaha based their first part, the RA1, on the DKW design. And even Holly Davidson created what they called the Hummer as their version of the, the earlier bike. Unfortunately, BSA focused on their bigger machines like the Gold Flash and the Shooting Star and by 1971 the whole show was over. It's time to get back down to the garage to see how the spraying's going. Come on Carly, open up. Knock knock. Hello, come and see Ryan. Oh, oh, Carly, you burnt the snaps again or what? How many cans are you using, mate? You 
starting to worry me, Carly. Hey, watch it, mate. Oh, I look like Snoopy, not the Grinch. We need his spares, so we took a trip down to Lambeth. On the way home, I realised the only way to make a profit on this machine was to let it go as an ongoing restoration. To Carly, this would be very disappointing. Knowing that Carly had his heart set on chickens and new chrome work, I was going to have to let him down gently. The following day, we got up early and had a sausage roll breakfast, and then headed towards the garage. Haha, <laughs> get you in there. You've done a fantastic job with this frame, Carly. I really take my hat off to you. Any chance you to clear this gaff up, please, mate? I mean, I say, we've got, uh, we've got a few health and safety issues here. Centre stand and foot brake look great. Oh, not being funny, mate, but we really need to get this machine back together. Know what I mean? I eventually got round to telling Carly my plans for the bike, and he seemed to take the news quite well. Hello. Okay then, perhaps not. After some Kaiser Kreiner and a cup of cafe melange, Carly went into overdrive. After a successful test ride, we put the bike on the market, and the phone nearly fell off the hook. Hi Steve, pop in after about 3 o'clock, uh, I'd have finished walkies by then, okay? It's an honest little bike this one mate. Um, is it to take your bike for test then? Of course you can mate, just don't go breaking the sand barrier or anything like that. There should be a helmet around the back here for you, I'll just have a look. Okay, so I'm going to see off the test drive. Steve, you're going far too fast. Oh no, look what you've done now. If you get more than 49 mile an hour out of this, it's double the price. What do you, what do you think about your test ride, mate? That was good. Yeah, you wanna? Yeah. yeah. Come at me if we soon, son. Okay, I've advertised the bike for seventeen hundred pound. Where do you want to be on this one? <coughs> Only if it's cash today. Cold hard cash. That'll do nicely. Enjoy your bike, Steve. Hundred thousand mile guarantee, or as far as long as you're on the premises. Come on, Carly. Let's get down the bank. Quick. If you want to see old vehicles turn around and given a new lease of life, join me next time on the Barn Fine Beagle.